Hey guys and welcome back to another how to tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make this really cool secret door that you have to open and close with a key. So guys stay tuned and I'm going to show you how you can make it. Right guys to make this really cool secret door you're going to need all the blocks that you can see right in front of me. We are going to need observer blocks, stone blocks, redstone torches, redstone blocks, sticky pistons, redstone dust, redstone repeaters and buttons. Now once you have all these blocks guys we then need to find an area of where we want to build our secret door. Now I am at a cliffside right here and this is a perfect place to build it. Once you have the area of where you want to build your door you need to find a location of where you want your door to be. Now I want my door to be right here so I'm going to dig out two blocks like that. Once you have done that we then need to go inside right here and we need to dig out an area that is big enough for us to place down all of our redstone. So what I'm going to do right here is dig out maybe three blocks deep like this and then I'm going to turn to the side right here and dig out four blocks right here then dig out another four blocks right there like that. Then I'm going to look up and dig out two more blocks in this whole area so we have enough space to place down our redstone so we have a nice little area like this. Once we have done that we are then going to get our sticky pistons and at this side right here we're going to place down four sticky pistons like that. Then we're going to turn and place down two more sticky pistons like this. So we have six sticky pistons that look like this. Then what we're going to do is get our stone blocks and place stone on top of each one of these pistons and then place one more stone block right there. Then we're going to get our redstone dust and place down two pieces of redstone dust right there. Then we're going to get a repeater, place it right here. We are going to right click on this repeater once, just like that. Then we're going to place a redstone dust right here like that. Then we're going to get our stone and place our stone in this area here next to the sticky pistons. And right there guys, that is our door set up. But what we need to do now, we need to set up the key mechanism for the door so we can open and close it. So we need to work out an area of where we want our key to be. Now my key is going to go in this area right here. You can put your key wherever you want, you just need to wire it up so it connects to this door. So I'm going to put my key right here and this is going to be a redstone torch right there. Then on top of this key we're going to need to place a block. Now this block here is very important, we never want to destroy this block right here, it is very very important important. So what we need to do now we've placed down our key we need to go back inside of our door right here and we need to find this key on the inside. So I'm going to turn to the left right here and this key is one, two, three, four, five blocks. So I'm going to dig five blocks. So this is one, then two, three, four, five. Now my key should be right here. My redstone torch is right there. That is perfect. So what we can do now is destroy this block right here and we have our redstone and our block above it right there. So I'm going to place a block down right here. I'm going to then I'm going to put a piece of redstone dust on top of it. And as you can see that redstone dust is powered and that is exactly what we want. Now what we need to do is kind of clear out this area in here so we have enough space to place down some redstone so we can actually power our door. It's totally up to you how much area you dig out just dig out enough area so we have enough space to work with. Once we have done that where we have placed down this redstone dust we then need to place a sticky piston into that dust just like that. Then we need to get on our observer block and place our observer block right here like that. Make sure the arrow is pointing inwards towards the door right there. Then we need to get another sticky piston and place it in front of the observer block. Then we need to get a redstone block and place it in front of that sticky piston like that. Now this is going to be the mechanism that actually powers our door. So if you remember before guys we put some redstone above our door. What we need to do now is connect this redstone to this redstone block right here. So what we're going to do is this redstone dust we're going to run a little staircase down so it connects up to the redstone block. Nice and simple like this. You might need to clear out some extra space so you can move around. Once we have done that we are then going to get our redstone dust and make it run all the way down to this redstone block right here. Now when I place this dust down you will see the door will close. There we go the door has closed. So what I'm going to do now I'm going to go back out to the outside right here and as you can see the door is closed and you cannot even see it and I'm going to remove our key right here and as you can see our door is still closed. So to open this door we need to place down our key. 
then our door is open then we need to destroy our key and then we can walk inside of our door so this could be the doorway to a secret base or something like that but as you can see guys this looks a little bit messy so what we're going to do is make it look a lot tidier just kind of like fill in these blocks around here so you can't see any of the redstone or anything like that and it looks completely hidden then i'm going to put my key back down my door shuts then i'm going to place my key once again and my door opens now obviously if this is going to lead to a secret base you want a button on the inside as well so you can close your door so to do that what we need to do is maybe just dig out a few more blocks down here and then dig out to the side and maybe to this side as well and make sure you don't see any of the redstone and just cover it up like this then what we're going to do is place a button right here and then we're going to connect this button to the first piston that we placed over here so i'm going to run some stone blocks around here so we can connect it all the way up so my buttons right here then i'm going to run this redstone dust all the way around to this first piston over here now if i press this button now you can see the door is closed and if i press it again the door is open so this is a way for you to open your door from the inside and the outside and we can cover up all the redstone so none of it is seen and then we have a really cool secret door that we can power with a key that nobody will ever be able to find but guys if you enjoyed this tutorial today and you want to see more just like it and you never want to miss an upload from me all you need to do is click on the little bell symbol next to the subscribe button and you will be notified every time i upload a brand new tutorial but guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again in another how to tutorial